Welcome back to Cooperstown, and we've got our longtime friend, former Kansas City Star columnist, author of the book Soul of Baseball, Joe Posnanski here. I think outside of maybe Bob Kendrick, you, you have to be as close to the late Buck O'Neill as anyone. What are your emotions seeing all of this at last? I'm I'm overwhelmed, right? I mean, like, this is such an extraordinary thing. You know, we've been thinking about it for so long. Obviously, it's been, what, 16 years since he almost got in, and uh, to see it now happening, to be here this weekend, I got to tell you, the emotions are even different from what I expected. Just because you walk around, people wearing Monarchs jerseys, you see Buck, like his face everywhere. It's really incredible. I always ask Bob Kendrick this question, who's on our pregame show more than anyone that's not in uniform year should. after year, as he should, right? The One of the great storytellers like yourself, too. And I always ask, what would Buck think about fill in the blank? So what would Buck think about this? Oh, he'd love it. This is a party. I mean, nothing Buck loved more than a party. I mean, I think for him, you know, he was disappointed he didn't get in. But I think the biggest thing was this was going to be a party. He was going to see all his old friends. He was going to tell stories, listen to stories. So he would have loved this. I mean, and, and I, I believe he is loving this you know this is this is buck was loved cooperstown and the hall of fame is so special to him yeah this would have been a big party for buck and the museum to the exposure which keeps growing and growing how important is this weekend for people that don't know about buck in the negro leagues you know it's it's huge and i, I think one of the you, you never look back at that him missing the hall of fame is a blessing but here it is 16 years later whole new generation learning about buck o'neill learning about the museum that part is a blessing it's perfect. We miss you in Kansas City. It's been all these years, but I got to say, standing in the middle of the street in Cooperstown with Joe Poznanski is not a, a bad thing at all. Good to see you, my friend. Great to see you.